Welcome to another episode of the Pastor's Motivational Corner. Trying to understand God can send you crazy. But can a human being really understand God who is infinite? Yes, folks, God's ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. We cannot prescribe a way that he should act or work. There are times when from a human perspective, we pray for God to move in a particular way, but he chooses not to. But who am I to question the wisdom and omnipotence of God? Who am I to question his omniscience? Should I be sad? Yes. Should I hurt? Yes. But in the midst of my pain, I must understand that we serve a God who knows better than me. A God who is all wise. Indeed, the Apostle Paul reminds me in Romans 11, all oh, the depths of the riches and wisdom and knowledge of God. How unsearchable are his judgment and unfathomable his ways. How can I understand a God whose ways are unsearchable? Psalm 135 verse 6 says, Whatsoever the Lord pleases, he does. In heaven and in earth, in the seas and all the deeps. Today, God always have to teach us that he knows better than us. God always have to teach us that he has a greater plan for our lives than we have for ourselves. And while we make plans for the future, while you are planning for tomorrow, you must be mindful of the fact that you do not hold the reins of your life. The road of life is not yours to chatter a course. It is God who holds your life. This week, my dear colleague and brother in ministry, Pastor Kenneth Philip, succumbed to death after pleading and praying with God nights upon healing him. God said, come home, my son. Yes, folks, it's difficult when you see people that mean so much and have being with you through so much in life, go. Especially someone in ministry as Pastor Philip was. But I had to bring myself to the understanding that God knows better than I do. Pastor Philip has been a dear friend to my family and I uh, when I got to Trinidad a few years ago to teach at the university. I, I, you know, I was like a fish out of water, not knowing where to begin. He, he helped my family and I to get settled in Trinidad, uh, got me a vehicle to use, uh, you know, and, 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 and even helped me in procuring a vehicle, um, you know, through Japan. And, 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 and of course, you know, he has just been there for my family and I. One of the, one of the instances, um, you know, um, that stuck with me with Pastor Philip, uh, one night, um, I was, I was driving, um, um, from the north of Trinidad back to the University of the Southern Caribbean. And I fell asleep on the road and I met in a fair accident and I, 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 I did not know who to call and the person that I called was Pastor Kenneth Philip. He, it was after 11 minutes to 12 in the night, he jumped out, out of his bed and came to the scene of the accident and the very first question, the very first thing he said to me was, I'm glad that you're alive. Listen, folks, you know, in life, uh, we will have to go through the, the difficulty of losing loved ones. But through it all, we must trust that Jesus doeth all things well.
My friend is resting, awaiting the resurrection. And I'm reminded that the God of heaven has not done us anything wrong. He is still merciful. He is still sovereign. And even though I cannot understand why someone who wants to do so much for the Lord has been called to rest, I'm only a human being. And even now, God has called me to just trust in him. And he has called his family to just trust in him throughout this long and lonely road that we must walk together. But by his grace, we know that the God of Abraham, of Isaac, and of Jacob, he is still the same yesterday, today, and forever.